Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm Anthony Brown. You are now watching OIBC News for Sunday, February 14, 2021. Let's get started. Our prayers with Sister Kathleen Hunt Mitchell and the loss of her father, James A. Hunt. Services were held on Saturday, February 13th at the Lucas Memorial Funeral Home. Our condolences are with the family of Carrie L. Trapp Rivers. A public viewing will be held on Friday, February 19th at 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Shrouders Funeral Home. Service will be on Saturday the 20th, also at Shrouders, the wake at 12.30 and the service is at 1 p.m. May the Lord bless and comfort you and your family during this time of grief. Calling all Olivet members and vigilants, our Reading and Leading by Faith ministry invites you to join us in reading and discussing a very timely book and New York bestseller, A Promised Land, written by former President Barack Obama. The first Zoom book discussion will be scheduled for Thursday, February 18th at 7 o'clock p.m. Now here is the question of the hour. Are you ready to read and discuss this powerful book? If you answer yes, I need you to contact Deaconess Vivian Melton at bbmelton1959 at yahoo.com or contact the church office at 216-721-3585 to participate. Now the ID number and passcode will be given to you at that time. Men of Olivet, our next Bible study and book discussion will be held on Saturday, February 20th at 9.30 a.m. via Zoom. Join us and invite a friend as we study Gene Getz's book, Moses, Freeing Yourself to Know God. In this final chapter, our author asks the question, do any of us ever get old enough or wise enough to avoid failure? There may be advice here we all can use. Also, Olivet's own Dr. Robert Haney, our resident source for reliable information on metabolic and infectious diseases, will give us an update on the COVID virus and vaccinations. We invite you to join us at 9.30 a.m. to hear and learn from a source you can trust. Join the Greater Cleveland Congregation's Color of Health Initiative for a courageous conversation that will speak to the troubled history of the African Americans about health and wellness by equipping our community with the facts regarding the COVID-19 vaccine. The GCC, along with other churches, will be hosting a virtual town hall meeting on Sunday, February 28th at 2 p.m. You can check the OIBC app or the eBlast for registration and access. The Olivet Housing and Community Development Corporation will host a workforce success course for anyone who needs help with updating their resume, identifying personal skills, and interest for job searching or practical tips towards achieving your professional goals. Information session and orientation will be held on Wednesday, March 10th at 6 p.m. The Workforce Success course begins on March 15th, and for more information or to register, you can contact Reverend Wilson by calling the church office or emailing outreach at oibc.org. Be sure to watch The Black Church two-part documentary airing on Tuesday, February 16th and Wednesday, February 17th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on your local PBS station. This is our story. The Black Church has sustained the African-American oh, people from the days of slavery to this day. I don't know how we could have survived as a people without it. The role of music in the Black Church is everything. We had to have some individual and institutional arm in order to preserve our sanity. We are a testament to the goodness and the grace of God. The Black Church. Tune in or stream Tuesday, February 16th at 9, 8 central, only on PBS. It would include the voices and commentary of our very own pastor emeritus, Reverend Dr. Otis Moss Jr. and the Reverend Dr. Otis Moss III. The documentary reveals the broad history and culture of the black church and explores African-American faith communities on the front lines of hope and change. We will also be live streaming the documentary on our OIBC Facebook page both nights. Robin Jones felt stuck. She was stuck on the couch, stuck watching everyone else move on. She was literally stuck in a life that felt like a rut. Attention, Olivet women. Are you in need of marketable skills? Do you want to develop a personalized education or workforce plan? Do you desire a new path to discover your passion and drive? If you answered yes, or you know someone who's stuck in a rut, then we have the program that can help. The Olivet Housing and Community Development Corporation in partnership with Tri-C is excited to offer women in transition through the Olivet Access Center located at the UH Otis Moss Jr. Community Health Center. This program is a free community-based course 
offered two days weekly for two hours each day for five weeks. The curriculum, facilitated by Olivet's own Cicely Campbell, is designed to help women move their lives forward as they develop personalized plans focused on academic and professional development. Participants who enroll will receive basic computer training, assistance in career exploration, free employment tools, including resume writing guidance, essential technological skills, and workshops to define and strengthen life management skills. For more information or to register for this program, which begins March 1st, join us for an informative orientation session via Zoom. Meeting ID 899-9873-544, passcode 337144. If you do not have access to a computer, you can call in to participate by dialing 929-205-6099 and enter the same meeting ID and passcode information. We hope you will join us to make a positive change in your life. We would like to extend a special happy birthday greeting to Oscar Trippers. 87 years young on February 2nd. Betty Trippers, 81 years young on February 15th. May God bless you on your new season of your life. Here's this week's recurring OIBC news in a flash. Every Sunday, join us online or on the phone for intercessory prayer at 7.30 a.m. Sunday school class at 8.30 a.m. Morning worship at 9.45 a.m. We'll see you every Wednesday around 12 o'clock noon for the Wednesday Word with Pastor Colvin. Thursday at 11 a.m. for the Midday Bible study followed by If My People Prayer Call at noon. Then on Saturday, at noon for the Grief Support Ministry. For all children in grades kindergarten through fifth grade, join us for Promised Land every Sunday at 1 o'clock p.m. And teens from ages 13 to 18 years old are invited to Real Talk Sundays every Sunday afternoon at 2 p.m. If you have any immediate food or social support needs, contact the Greater Cleveland Food Bank for help at 216-738-2067 and the United Way 211 Helpline. Check the weekly newsletter or the OIBC app for information on how you can submit your newborn baby, wedding anniversary, or birthday announcements to appear on the OIBC News. We invite you to send us a Hello Olivet, We Miss You video to be shared in an upcoming service. Find out how to submit your video in the weekly newsletter or the OIBC app. And this has been your news in a flash. Thank you for joining us today. Give us a call or email if anything at the church can do for you. Now here's your thought for the week. Even the darkest night will end and the sun will rise. As always, thank you for doing all of the social media things such as like, comment, follow, subscribe, and share OIBC on all of your media platforms so that you never miss a video or an upload. We appreciate you joining us here today and thank you for watching OIBC News of all your church news, events, and announcements taking place right here at Olivet. We'll see you next week.